All right, howdy everybody. <laughs> it's me. It's the next day. You know, it's always the next day, right? Just wanted to show you what I did. I cleaned up the uh, the bathroom, and then I made a little mess again. But I clean I clean that up again. So, yeah, I know it looks uh, looks a lot better, doesn't it? It's tolerable now. Uh, I got the fan running, so that's the noise you hear in the background. To try to get some of this particulate out. Uh, I ordered my new staples, the boss stitch. Now these are I'm going to call I'm going to say the word proprietary, meaning that they're special, <laughs> and you can only get them for from the boss stitch. I guess boss stitch bought out Stanley. I don't know. I think it's uh, one and the same kind of. I don't know. Anyway, uh, I ordered my boss stitch staples, and they're coming. Tomorrow, I'm going to say. So, I mean, you can see, you can see where I, I, I didn't staple. It's it's coming apart, but I'm going to fix all that. That's no big deal. <clears throat> and don't forget, I'm putting vapor barrier over, uh, over all this stuff. So, um, so that's that's the update for that. Uh, I cut my piece of vapor barrier bulk. I cut it uh, four and a half by ten because this opening is four by change uh, what is it eight seven I forget so anyway I cut it four and a half by ten so that's waiting while I was waiting for my staples which is going to be tomorrow I put a nailer up here that one by is a nailer that's all I needed it's, it's in there pretty strong it's in there pretty good yeah it's not going anywhere and I cut out my piece of uh, existing sheetrock to just above the level of this drop here. So um, it's level. I haven't cut it out in, in the shop yet. But that's what I just got done doing. And I just got done vacuuming the mess. So um, I'm going to see if I can get that cut. Let's see what time is it. It's 4.30. I just had some early dinner. So uh, I'm going to do some more work. But I gotta take a measure of of the width and the height. And I gotta mark my, my nailers. So if I look at this mud, look at all the mud they put in these corners. Right? Look at this. This is all mud. See that? And I guess that's normal. That's why walls along outside corners and inside corners they go like this right they, they they come out and then they level off and then towards the inside corner they go out again that's because they're putting the tapers are putting all the uh all the mud on here to get this corner bead to look nice to feather it all in so that's what you see so i'm gonna have to keep that in mind i mean that's a good i mean look at that that's over an eighth of an inch that's, uh, let's see if I can get my tape measure to cooperate with me. I mean, look, hold on a sec. Not that it's important, but that's, yeah, that's like an eighth of an inch. Let's see if I can get you a good, a good look. Let's see, yeah, see that? That's about an eighth of an inch, so. That's probably standard. I guess, I'm, I'm, I'm sure there's a lot of tapers out there saying, yeah, that's, that's about standard, eighth of an inch for your corners. Uh, so no big deal. I'm, I mean, I'm not complaining about it. I'm just saying, you know, I like to look at these things. I like to see. I bet you if I showed you up there, there'd be a lot of mud on this, towards this corner, and it'd be not so much there, and it'd be a lot more mud down there. All right, because you have the outside corner. Uh, well, this, remember, used to be a top, so there was actually, all right, I take that back. There was actually corner bead on top here. So there's going to be mud all throughout there. And it's going to be, it would be like a big feather, you know. So there was probably a lot of mud going like here and then coming back down. And of course the outside, the inside corner all the way down, but not, not a lot of mud here, which you don't need. You don't need that. So the trick is to feather in your corners to, uh, you know, to get it to where it looks flat. So, but this is what they had to do to, to make that work, to get that flat appearance. But it ain't. And that's a good word, ain't. Uh, <laughs> so anyway, hold on, I'll take you into the shop. Hold on. Okay, uh, got a good movie, just started. Actually, I had a plane before, but I was busy and it ended. Uh, this is called Monolith Monsters. This is a, a classic. 
I mean, a real classic. I remember seeing this back in the 60s, man. And uh, it's 1957. And Monolith Monsters. Uh, if you get a chance to see it, it's on it's on YouTube. So I, I, if you like sci-fi and, and even more uh, classic sci-fi, that this is a must-see. Uh, you'll thank me later. Trust me. All right. Shop is uh, is a little bit messy, but not so bad. Um, here's my vapor barrier that I cut. Uh, now the length is 10 feet. The width is four and a half. So I, I haven't opened it up yet because there's no reason to open. I just I just did a cut. I just measured four and a half and a little bit extra, and and made my cut. So that's ready to go. When when I get to it. Uh, I got a couple of goodies today. I was going to do a separate video, and I still might, of my all my accessories. But uh, check it, check it out a sec. Hold on. As you know, my theme is uh, brushed nickel, and I saw these on Amazon. Tell you what, Amazon. Yeah, let me turn. Let me turn this. Let me turn the marathon. The uh, monolith monsters. There it is, right there. Look at that. Check it out. You're gonna love it if you haven't seen it before. Um, let me turn that a little bit more. Hold on. I know. You know, I'm all over the place as usual. Okay. Uh, as you know, my my theme, uh, my finished theme is uh, brush nickel. Right. And these are um, towel hooks, uh, you know, hooks, right, that you can put anywhere. But I'm going to put them in the bathroom. I haven't figured out where. I have an idea. I think I want to put them behind the wall uh, of the door, behind the door wall. And I got two of them. If you want to know what they are, they are, let's see, double towel hook, B, uh, hmm, bathroom wall, made in China. Oh, there's the skew, S. K7082B. Don't know if that's very helpful or not, but they are, um, comes with uh, a little bit of hardware and an Allen wrench and uh, a little fastener. I guess you take this fastener out because, yeah, here's here's the Allen wrench, uh, Allen, uh, nut right there. You take it out and you put this bracket up against the wall. So, I mean, they're, they're nice. They weren't super expensive either. So, uh, I got two because I figured, well, you know, two is is a good number. And now I got a whole bunch of other things, too. I got my grab bars, various lengths, and uh, um, I, I didn't show you. I was going to do a, a video all at the same time, but I figured, oh, what the heck, I'm here, and I got these today. But I like these. Uh, they're, they're, it's, you know... They're going to work just fine. I, I don't know if they're going to work behind that door, behind the bathroom door, because they might stick out too far. And I don't want the door to hit this outside, so I'm going to have to... In fact, I'll tell you what, let's bring it inside and take it, check, it, check it out. Hold on. All right, here's my little filter fan, right? It's just a cheap box, 20 by 20, with a 20 by 20 uh, filter. And believe it or not, it filters the air out. So it's great for, for the workplace. All right, here's where I was thinking about putting these. Right behind the the uh the door okay so let's see if these are gonna in fact look see okay they're not gonna stick out and i got a, a bumper for the door let's see so when this is closed ah oh yeah look got plenty of room you see that hopefully you can see that i think that's where i'm gonna put them because i got like i said i got two and i was gonna put them something like here and here because I can't stand this this towel holder here. It's loose, I put wood up there, and if it's not just right, that thing is a little cattywampus and it's hard to do, shut the door, so I really can't stand that. That's gonna go somewhere else. That's good for a closet. But um, I like these, and I'm just gonna find a couple of studs somewhere in here and give a little separation. Not, not not put them too high. I was thinking about putting them down here, but I don't have enough wall, so they wouldn't look too too good down here. So yeah, that's not going to work. I think I think the better choice is behind this door because I got a lot of room. It's not going to uh, interfere with the closing of the door or the opening of the door, I should say. Uh, so I think that's it. All right, um, that's the update. Just waiting for my staples, which should be here tomorrow. I'm going to work on this other piece up here. i got to get measures. i got all my nailers in. I don't need a nailer in here. Uh, I say that. 
I, you know, I should really have a nail iron there. Hmm, I may have to work on that. Yeah, I might have to get a nail, maybe a two by uh, fat ways, you know. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, because that ceiling is already up there, so whoa. Da, 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 um, uh, I'm trying to minimize my lumber up there, you know. But I think a nailer up and down would do the trick. And if I would have thought about that beforehand, I could have made it, I could have put a T on there. Uh, but I'm going to, yeah, I think a nailer is going to be good. I'm gonna, so I'll put a short little nailer, a little one by uh, in there. So that's a little bit more work to do, but that's fine. So I'll leave you with that shot right there. All right. So stay tuned. There's going to be more to come.